10, 20, 2014. Hi, I'm Dr. Kathy Dooley. This is Calvin. Introduce yourself. Hello, I'm Calvin. Uh, we're here at NKT and we noticed that uh, Calvin has a little bit of discomfort on um, front squats. Can you yep. describe your discomfort? Um, the pain is right deep in the center of the joint to draw a line be it through here. To draw a line from here to here. Um, and it's at full elbow flexion with humeral flexion. And we noticed was um, with our NKT testing that we found the anconius was facilitated. A lot of times I'll find it to be inhibited in preventing that humeral ulnar pinching of the capsule whenever you're in full extension at the top of a bench press or on a handstand. But you're quite the opposite, man. He needs an anconius release. Um, and I wanted to show you how to release the anconius in case you get someone that has elbow pinching like Calvin describes when the elbow's in full flexion and you're in full shoulder flexion. So the anconius is a muscle that uh, has a large attachment through here with the radius ulna and even into the humerus, and it's this triangle that you see here. And so basically what we're going to do is we're going to um, assist in trying to release the anconius. So you're going to bend your elbow, and we're going to press upwards. And you tell me when you get the joint pinching. Anconius attaches to the humeral ulnar joint capsule. So if he's facilitated, he's kind of shortened up, he can pinch the capsule when you're in full flexion. If he's not working and doing his job, he can fail to prevent the actual pinching that occurs deep within the joint on full extension. Calvin's extra special. But it's inhibiting his latissimus dorsi from being able to do his job. So we need to be able to get this muscle to work again. We're finding the cash money spot on his ulna and you've been able to take him to a range where he could barely get out of the gate and get him into a full amount of ability to flex his elbow. And Conius is in the extension compartment. So it's here innervated by the radial nerve and it's innervated by the main trunk of radial nerve. So you can even get uh, neurological symptoms uh, associated with this guy. But he actually doesn't have a lot of neurological symptoms. It's mostly just that the muscle does it itself. This is the way that you earn some extra range and elbow flexion if you're a front squatter. But you may have to pair that by activating what's inhibited in your case, latissimus and some of the elbow extensors. Uh, uh, shoulder Dr. Kathy Dooley, see you next time.